Greetings. Welcome back to Ministry Monday. Hope you've had a great day. Congratulations to Matthew Powell, who will receive my book, The Science of Shepherding. I so appreciated all the comments last week. And again, this week, we'll do exactly the same thing. One person who makes a comment in the area below this uh, video posting will receive The Science of Shepherding. Right now, we're talking about the responsibility of a shepherd to feed the sheep. One of the things we all appreciate about Jesus' ministry is that it was practical, it was interactive, and yes, it was instructional. I think that Jesus was more oriented to teaching than he was to preaching. The thing that I notice is that Jesus' teaching connected with the real world much more so than abstract philosophy. I think there's a danger in me making my preferred area of study or interest, the thing that I consistently feed the flock. I've been in situations where people steadily fed their flock a diet of, well, things like end time prophecy or Jewish tradition, Hebrew customs, and even uh, the use of Hebrew or, or Greek words. It could be typology that is drawn from the Old Testament tabernacle or maybe a seven lesson series on who Melchizedek was. Now, all of the information is good. All of the study, the research is good. But the question is, does it feed the flock a well-rounded diet? In a future Ministry Monday, I'll be talking about 20 different topics that I attempt to preach about at least two times each year. And I keep a record of these because I want to make sure that I'm providing the flock people that I think are, are uh, things that I feel like are relevant or necessary and needful for the time that they were living. I think the the analogy that I'll use, imagine a homemaker who loves to bake cakes and all that she feeds her family is, is cake, chocolate cake, strawberry cake, pound cake, con cake, more of the same, different take on cake for every meal. That person's family is not going to be healthy very long. The same is true if we do not teach and feed our people the things that they are needing at this particular point in time. And it's really not an option. Paul used the phrase for a leader that they were to be apt to teach. That's really a non-negotiable because teaching the Word of God transforms people's lives. At a shepherd's camp a generation ago, the late J.T. Pugh advised pastors, and I wasn't a pastor, I was just a young evangelist, but I remember him saying, come near to your people in prayer. See yourself with them on the job, alongside the harried mother, working outside her home, as well as taking care of her home, the two babies that are getting less of her attention than what she would really prefer. Feel the loneliness of the aged, the teenager who's struggling to find themselves, and the child of divorce being distanced from father and mother, sitting where they sit. Pastors who are not paying attention can ask their flocks to graze on weed field ground. It's been traveled too often or maybe something that's been grazed on too long. The question asked and answered in prayer is what do the sheep you lead and feed? What is it that they need right now? How would Jesus feed the flock? I can't imagine him getting up on a lofty platform to deliver a speech. I think he gathered people close around him. It's not an impressive thing to see a group of malnourished sheep who are nibbling on each other because their diet is inadequate. So my question for your consideration through this week is, are you feeding the flock of God what they need, or are you simply feeding them the things that you enjoy cooking? Have a great week. God bless you.